Hi, I'm Jacob Hansen. My name is Paul Bumball. I'm Marshall Norm. My name is Jeremy Ward. Uh, first, the neck is glued onto the instrument straight uh, in the same plane as the body. The, the strings on this instrument are much lower tension in general. Uh, the other thing is the strings are made from sheep gut rather than from a synthetic material wrapped in metal. Uh, this uh, particular setup is with equal tension strings, so the, uh, the G has as much tension as the E. The bow is very different. My bow has an outward curve, it's much shorter also. So it's, it's uh, designed for short, articulate gestures. Uh, the last thing that's different about the instrument is the way I play it, not anything with the construction, but I play the instrument down on my arm like this. And it differs from the cello in several ways. Uh, one noticeable difference is that the tuning is in B flat rather than C. Another difference is that I um, stand up while I play. The reason I choose to stand up is twofold. One is that it uh, allows me to blend with the other instruments that are standing up around me. And the other thing is just that I have a lot more fun because of the freedom of motion. Modern trombone is like driving a big truck, and this is like a sports car. More maneuverable, more flexible, and in many ways a lot more fun to drive. This particular tenor sack right here is based on an instrument from 1632. It was made in Nuremberg. The uh, mouthpiece is actually also a copy of an old mouthpiece. It's actually very different from the modern trombone. The bore is much smaller. The instrument's designed for flexibility. The bell is significantly smaller. This is, you know, the modern trombone bell is eight and a half inches, and this is a lot smaller than that. This is my harpsichord. It's modeled after a 17th century Italian instrument. It's uh, built by a guy named Adam Decker, and it's really uh, pretty uniquely suited to the kinds of music that we like to do and the kinds of sounds that we expect out of our instruments. It's really exciting for me to get to play this music because as a modern trombonist, we rarely get to play with strings in a chamber music setting. The instruments just don't fit. But when you go back into the early 17th century, you get wonderful music that was written for this purpose. So we're very excited to share this somewhat underplayed music with far more people. Thank you.